rusty red Christmas. It was almost Christmas on the island of Sodor. The engines were enjoying the snow that was falling down. I also enjoyed this period of time, and lovely Christmas music played all over the radio. However, one engine wasn't enjoying the jolly spirit, and that was James. A few days ago, he had some trouble with some troublesome trucks and was stalking in the steamworks. Those dim-witted trucks, they pushed me down Gordon's Hill and got my paint scratched up. James kept grumbling for a while before he saw Sir Hannah being pushed into the steamboat by Scarlowe. What are you in for, Sir Handel? The coaches pushed me, and they knocked me off the rails. Ha! <laughs> Shut up! I bet you could even pull a cow on a flatbed. Oh really? I bet you couldn't even pull a tanker filled with helium, Sir Handel. You know what? I'm getting tired of saying Sir Handel every time we speak. And I call you Sandal for short. Why, you big, gigantic, rusty red... Alright, what is going on here? Uh... Um... Never mind. James, you are fixed and you can go now. And I don't want to hear any more arguing in this steamboat. See you later, Sandal. James huffed away while Sir Handel just glared. Once James got back to the shed, the top of hat was waiting for him. Hello, James. I know you've just come back from the work, however, I need you to get your goods train from Kelstorp. Henry was supposed to take it, however, his firebox is getting cleaned down, so you'll have to take it. Trucks! Fine! James soon got ready and steamed away from the shed. As James puffed along, he saw the snow getting thicker and thicker as he went past. Soon James made it to Kelston. By then, the snow was pouring. Jeez, this snow is gonna be the end of me, he said as he rolled into the station. Anyway, Bob, who are these trucks even for in the first place? It's firewood. Many of the stations needed to warm up. Soon James was coupled up to the truck. Come on, come on, you lazy slack! As he seized and hauled the heavy firewood out of Kelstor. James used as he hauled the heavy train of firewood along the line. He had to stop at almost every station and had to get started again every single time on the icy tracks. However, despite James feeling as weak as a week, he kept going. I have to keep going. The station masters and people's families will be better home for Christmas. And I don't want that. I've got to keep going. At 9 o'clock, finally, James reached his hidden station with the remaining fire. He was relieved and tired. Finally, finally, I'm done. I gotta get back to my shed. I, 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 uh, come on, come on, come on, driver. Come on, Bob. Once James made it back to the shed, he was very sleepy. However, he had one thing to say to all the engines. Merry Christmas, everyone. And then James quickly dozed off. Well, that's interesting. Never thought James would bring the firewood to all the stations, especially after what happened with him in the trucks a few days ago. Indeed, I thought he would have just made it to Crosby and wouldn't go any further, except he went on. Well, it looks like James has finally shown that he can be not only kind, 
but hard working with the trucks too. Little did the other engines know that James was still half awake and he could hear everything. He was proud that his friends were proud of him. He seemed fully dozed off, awaiting tomorrow's Christmas.